You may not be as protected as you think when it comes to cryptocurrency. More and more Americans are investing in digital assets, but how safe is it? CBS 17's Russ Bowen joins us. And Russ, several members in Congress from North Carolina are concerned enough that they're trying to pass new laws. That's exactly right. North Carolina Republican Congressman Patrick McHenry and Democratic Representative Wiley Nickel are working together on legislation that creates safeguards for consumers, promotes innovation, and advances national security. Congressman Nichols sat down with me to explain. So there's been a lot of back and forth between Republicans and Democrats, even Democrats within their party uh, when it comes to regulation and of digital assets. But there's finally been some movement. You've been a part of that movement. Where are we today on this? I think as people are seeing this debate play out, the the point that I, I think is important to make is whether you love crypto or you hate crypto, you ought to be in support of regulation. And that's what this bill does that we just passed in a bipartisan way through the, the House Financial Services Committee and the, the, the House Ag Committee uh, just, just last week. So really important uh, for you know, what I think is, is going to be an incredibly important sector um, of the global economy now and in the future. Were there any real red flags that you saw that made you think, hey, we got to do something now? You know, we're seeing we're seeing other parts of the world start to, you know, become a bigger focus for for the digital dollar. And we want to keep that industry in the U.S. So we want to keep the jobs, the digital innovation in the United States, and we want to protect U.S. consumers. And this is an industry that can so easily go overseas or offshore. And when my constituents or any North Carolinians, you know, have have their money at risk, they have no recourse if if this whole industry moves overseas. So we want to keep the industry here. We want to make sure we continue to have you know the the digital dollar as the dominant currency in the world our, our economy benefits so much because of it so you know this is about uh, making sure we continue to keep that innovation here in the US so help us understand this who are at the bottom of the food chain when it comes to really comprehending how complex all of this is you know the average North Carolinian might not get it. I don't get the whole thing. I, you probably don't get the whole thing because it is complicated. It is very complicated. highly technical. Our securities law is it goes goes back over a hundred years to this this complicated how we test. Okay. You know, so yeah. So we're we're applying law from a hundred years ago. You know to to digital assets. You know what what qualifies as a cryptocurrency. How you know and so we're, we're just trying to put guardrails in place. And the legislation that we worked on in a bipartisan way with a North Carolinian Patrick McHenry, who's the Republican chair of the committee. You know, puts puts those guardrails in place, sets sets a regulatory framework, and you know I think that's a, that's a good thing. You bring up uh, Chairman Patrick McHenry, uh, chairman of this very committee that we're talking about. Uh, he had high praise for the work that you did in getting this across the finish line. Engagement here, the reading of the policy, the weighing of this, and in sharing those concerns in a in a collaborative way. I'm I'm grateful for that collaboration, Mr. Nickel, and uh, thank you very much. What does this say? to the American people and to North Carolinians and voters because people are sick and tired of the back and the forth and the backstabbing and the calling each other names and nothing happening and people at home just want something done. But you a Democrat, first term, Patrick McHenry for North Carolina Republican chair of this committee, one of the most powerful people, frankly, in Congress right now, Patrick McHenry is. What does this say in terms of like it can be done, you can work together? Yeah, I mean, that's a great point. And, and, and I just want to start by saying nobody in, in the press ever covers a plane that safely lands on time. And I get to see so much of that in Congress. And, and this, this, you know, digital assets market structure bill we're talking about is, is a perfect example of that. My team worked with Patrick McHenry and, and his team, you know, for months and months, hundreds of hours, and all the changes, you know, the things that we asked for to improve the bill, to get more democratic support, he incorporated. That's how legislation should work, and, and I see so much of it every day, and I just, I wish my experience on the Hill is something you, you would see more, but, you know, too often we see the far left and the far right getting so much attention for, for things that'll never happen, and the, the fundamental, you know, approach I take is nothing is gonna happen in this Congress unless it's done in a bipartisan way. You know, Republicans have a narrow majority in the House. Democrats have a narrow majority in the Senate. So we're, we got to work together to get things done. And in this case, this was a perfect example of, you know, all the Republicans on the committee supported the bill, and I was part of a group of six Democrats. That's pretty bipartisan as things go in Congress these days. And the legislation also has support of leaders within the cryptocurrency world as well. And guys, of course, a lot of interest in this 
for not just, you know, the public, but us in this studio as yeah. well. We all want to have our, our money protected. We'll yeah. keep you updated as to where this goes on the House floor. And of course, we've got the Senate side that has to deal with this as well. Yeah, fascinating. All right, Russ, you thank bet. you.